right? This little video about um, why men die first. It's been unanswered for centuries, but personally, I think it needs a little bit of an explanation. So it goes, my theory. If you put a woman on a pedestal and you try to protect her, you're a male chauvinist pig. If you stay at home and do housework, you're a fanny. If you work too hard, there's never any time for her. But if you don't work enough, then you're a lazy bastard. If she's got a boring job with low pay, it's exploitation. But if you've got a boring job with low pay, then you need to get off your ass and find something better. If a man gets a promotion ahead of a woman, then it's favouritism. But if she gets a promotion ahead of you, it's equal fucking opportunities. If you mention how nice she looks, then you're after something. But if you don't and you keep quiet, then you don't fancy her. If you cry, you're a wimp. And if you don't, you're an insensitive bastard. If you make a decision without consulting her, then you're a male chauvinist. But if she makes a decision without consulting you, then she's a modern woman. If you ask her to do something that she don't want to do, then you're being controlling. But if she asks you to do something that you don't want to do, then it's a favour. If you appreciate the female form and sexy underwear, then you're a pervert. But if you don't, then you're gay. If you like a woman, shave her legs, keep herself in shape, then you're sexist. But if you don't, you're unromantic. If you go to gym and you try to keep yourself in shape, then you're vain. But if you don't, you're a slob. If you come home from work one day and buy her flowers, you're after something. But if you don't, you're unthoughtful. If you're proud of your achievements, then you follow yourself. But if you don't, then you're not ambitious enough for her. If she's got an headache, she's tired. But if you've got an headache, you don't love her anymore. If you want it too often, then you're oversexed. But if you don't, there's got to be someone else. So why do men die first? Because they fucking well want to.